Today on Pro's Park Pass, we're gonna be doing the Golden Zephyr Secrets Rebuild. This ride, man. The Golden Zephyr is one of three original attractions from opening day here at Disney California Adventure. Do you know those three are? Well, the Golden Zephyr, the Jellyfish Jumpers right over there, and Grizzly Rapids. And of all those three, the one that's gone through the least amount of changes, Golden Zephyr. This land here, before they did the whole Pixar retheming, was called Paradise Pier. And on the Golden Zephyr right here, they had a sign that said Paradise Pier. After they did the retheming at Pixar Pier over there, they changed this to Paradise Gardens. And what did they do? They came over here, they removed Pier off the sign and just left Paradise there for a while. So all it said is Paradise. Eventually, they removed Paradise. That's the only changes on this ride since opening day. My mom is a huge, huge fan of science fiction. I mean, she loves Star Wars. She loves Star Trek. She loves science fiction. And it all started from when she was a little girl. They had what they called cereals. And a cereal, not, it's not like what you would eat, is you go to a movie theater. And you go to these movie theaters, and you'd watch this little like clip of a thing. It's like, dun, 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 dun. and all of a sudden, it'd leave like a cliffhanger. And then you had to come back the next Saturday to watch, see what happens if the, if the guy was, got rescued, or the girl got run over by a train, whatever. Well, my mom, her very favorite ones was Flash Gordon. These old movies, they're black and white, and she loved, she had a big crush on the actor who played Flash Gordon. And these ships here are reminiscent of the ships from Flash Gordon. I mean, they're almost identical. It's a throwback to Flash Gordon, these the ships here. Four fins, stabilizers, everything, Flash Gordon. The ride is supposed to be a throwback to the turn of the century rides uh, that they had on boardwalks. There were only two rides like this in existence when Dizzy says we want to do a throwback ride. One was in Chicago, Illinois. The other one was in Pleasure Beach at Blackpool, England. So Imagineers had to go there and check it all out. The one in Chicago wasn't very impressive, I guess, but the one in England was huge. That's what the Imagineers were like. We want to be like that. So they contacted that company and said, can you help us construct the Golden Zephyr? And they did. So this company came along and they said, we can help you build it. It was called Morgan Manufacturing. And they're the ones that help construct this beautiful ride. But guess what, guys? Tragedy struck. Dun, dun, dun. Morgan Manufacturing has gone out of business. <gasps> like, out of business. So, if these cables break, the only place that they can get Disney to get them is from a special company that's in Europe. And they're very, very expensive. Like, uh, like it's expensive. And that's the only place that they can now get those cables for this particular ride. When they originally built the ride, they had like a top... Uh, over this and with the top had cables coming down stabilizing this tower when the imagineers saw that they're like no it's too ugly they didn't like that so they got rid of those stabilizer cables that are going around the top making it prettier but because of that this is the only support structure is the center pole there meaning if there is any wind they have to shut it down the ride is very temperamental if there is a breeze a wind of over 10 miles per hour it can't operate or a gust of over 15 miles per hour and I was like, wait, that didn't make sense to me. I was reading about that. I'm like, well, yeah, if the wind is over 10, then a gust is going to be over 15. Obviously, it's not going to work. Well, wind means a constant, constant wind of 10 miles per hour. A gust just means a little gust that comes in and then leaves. There you go. So if you look right here very carefully, you can see this little thing spinning around. I don't know what the technical name of that is, but that is, that is like a wind speed thing, whatever. It lets them know how fast the wind is. They have to have that because this ride is very temperamental with wind. Wind. Had to stop it. I mean, this this ride stops a lot because of the wind. Wind, guys. Wind, wind, wind. Hey, a light, light little blustery day, if you will. And this sucker is not running. Oh, they're testing it. They're testing it. We just happened to be right here when they started the test. We're open. <laughs> now, if you have like a mobility issue and you need like a wheelchair or was it EVC, not a problem. You go in there, they have an elevator that'll take you up to second level. But you do have to transfer from that into a Zephyr. Which one is the fastest one? Uh, the ones with the orange seats are the fastest, <laughs> yeah. I'm taking this one. Okay. There are six rocket ships. That's right, I called it a rocket ship. 
and each of the six rocket ships has six rows. One, two, three, four, five, six. Each row can hold up to two people, giving you a grand total of 72 people, maximum occupancy per ride. And how long does the ride last? About two minutes, actually. If you look carefully at the wires that hang in there, they tell you what they are. Right there, it says front diagonal. Notice it says front diagonal right there as well. This one says front vertical. So that way they know exactly which wires go with which one. That way, if they ever have to replace one of these cables, they know exactly where they should go. Right before the ride takes off, you can hear a voice. It's a lady talking. And she's kind of talking like the 1920s, like, I don't know how, I can't do it. But that's supposed to be Amelia Earhart, you know? Female pilot. Keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the rocket machine. And for Pete's sake, watch your children, please. The Golden Sever makes eight revolutions when it goes around. Something unique about this ride is that it, there, it, you can't control how high your low goes. It's 100% centrifugal force. The faster it spins, the farther out you go, like a pendulum. As it slows down, it brings you back in. When you go on this ride, you get the perfect breeze. Keep that term in mind, perfect breeze. I'll be coming back to it. The views you get from the Golden Zephyr are spectacular. This ride always confused me because it's called the Golden Zephyr. I thought I knew what the word Zephyr meant and I didn't until I did the research on this particular ride. I thought Zephyr was like a synonym for Zeppelin, Blimp, was it a dirigible, dirigible? I thought that's what that meant. No, that's not what a zephyr means at all. A zephyr means wind, a pleasant breeze. The word zephyr derives from Greek. There was a Greek god called Zephyrius, and he was called the god of sweet breath because he would bring gentle breezes from the west. Eventually, they kind of shortened that down from Zephyrius to just zephyr, and that's where the word gentle breeze comes from. The person who probably popularized the word, though, was William Shakespeare. What? William Shakespeare used the word Zephyr in his 1611 play, Cymbeline. He said, in these two princely boys, they are as gentle as Zephyrs blowing below the violet. His boys were as gentle as a summer breeze coming in from the west. William Shakespeare popularized the word Zephyr in 1611. Thanks, Billy. So this used to confuse me because when it said the golden zephyr, I thought that meant the gold color and then a, like a sled zeppelin. Sled zeppelin. Like a zeppelin. So I'm like always just confused. I'm like, why is it silver, not gold? Well, golden doesn't mean gold. Golden means amazing, awesome, perfect. So when it says the golden zephyr, it's talking about the perfect breeze. One of my very favorite books is called The Outsiders. And one of the famous lines is, Stay golden, pony boy. Stay golden. Now there are a lot of lights on this particular ride. If you look at this cable right here. Bu -bu 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 -bu. Each cable has 37 light bulbs on it. And there's 12 cables and light bulbs, giving you a grand total of 444 light bulbs just on the cables alone. I don't want to be that guy who has to go to the very top and change all those light bulbs. That would be kind of scary. It's a very pretty attraction in the evening. It lights up. It's great night. So I would always suggest Excuse me, what was that? I would always suggest trying to ride it at nighttime when the lights are on and you can see everything. It's really pretty. Golden Zephyr, have a real humdinger of a flight. Have a humdinger of a flight. Pixar Power Router is so pretty at nighttime. 
You guys know the deal by now. Hit the subscribe, hit the like button, everything. Is, I think it's a really fun video. We learned about Shakespeare, we learned about Flash Gordon, we learned about what the word Zephyr meant. <laughs> I feel like we kind of did a little bit of an educational video. You guys, magical night. I'll talk to you later. Oh, by the way, did you know our Patreons get an extra video every Sunday night? That's right, for $3 a month, get an extra video. All you have to do is go to patreon.com, type the post podcast, and for three bucks, you get an extra video every Sunday night where Amanda and I will answer your questions. Have a great night, everybody.